Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back. Today, well, we're on a night drive for a change. We're heading down from uptown Armu down to the Cato Paphos Harbour area, or Paradise as we call it, and the girl in charge of the ship, well, Miss Oching with Civiella Booth, the most beautiful woman in the world. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Have a look at that for a nighttime view. Absolutely spectacular. That's the last golden glow up in this blue, blue sky. And it's casting its shadow down to the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And it's casting its shadow before it finally vanishes off to downtown Cato, Australia, over the beautiful place known as Paphos, a little place known as Paradise in our hearts and many, many people who watch our videos on the island of love, Cyprus. One of the greatest places in the world. If you're looking for somewhere to get away for a weekend, a week, a fortnight, or even the rest of your life, Paphos should be at the very, very top of your list. This is Konya Village at night. This is the main road from the Memphis Hills Golf Club and Luxury Five Star Development and Hotel. And if you stick with us, we're going to drive down through Uptown Paphos along the tree-lined avenue to paradise all the way to Cato Paphos and into the harbour area and you're going to see some spectacular views because the street lights are shining the car lights are shining and as I've said the last golden rays of the sun are shining what do you say Grisimi? yes uh, the only shining is not good when they are going with the far lights with the full <laughs> beam yes that's right common problem in cars today is a lot of people drive around either with no lights or too much lights or far beam lights as Grisibi calls it we call it full beam in English shall we say and a lot of people forget that uh, well they forget to switch them off should we say at the moment it's not too bad no one has committed that sin yet and there is that beautiful beautiful view I think it looks absolutely incredible on the viewfinder and I hope that you agree because obviously now we're deep into the winter season so we've got to come up with some new ideas we obviously are going to storm the Cato Paphos Harbour again in the dark, but of course that's well lit down there. But as the nights have drawn in, well, we have very, very limited amounts of time to make videos. So please, please drop in the comments and give us some ideas. But obviously we're going to start to make some nighttime videos. And uh, I quite like watching nighttime videos and I hope that uh, the people who like to watch our videos do too. So I'm going to keep the camera on the view because I think it's truly spectacular in the day or in the night as we drop down from Army Village through Konya Village and into the top of Paphos. So the next focal point that we're going to come to is the Limassol roundabout. So stick with us at that roundabout. If you were to go left you would head off well towards the motorway and then you would head out towards Mandrea which is where the airport is, Timmy Market which is where we'll be going tomorrow so if you come back tomorrow that's where we'll be buying some blue t-shirts. So this is the roundabout now and as you can see it's quite lit up and there's a work of art being constructed in the middle of that roundabout. One of these days you never know we might come and have a mosey on down on there and see if we can outrun Sergeant Stavros because otherwise he's going to arrest us obviously. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go straight over the roundabout up in red and blue letters in Greek you can see Alpha Mega Supermarket just over there it's going to come back into view in a second and then there, that's their multi-story car park to the rear there we are it's all lit up blue and red letters Alpha Mega Hypermarket on this side in again red and blue letters is DNA Foods that's a food wholesaler and just down yonder you can probably make out the golden arches of McDonald's. Big bright yellow sign, or gold as they say. And just underneath that is the word McDonald's. And then underneath that, drive through. Receive it a booth. Are you enjoying your night drive? The city bill gone up, but the car drivers know that the bill is not going to come to them. <laughs> What's that supposed to be receiving the booth? Because they are driving with full leather. Oh, I see. Okay. What she's saying is that the price of everything has gone up. If you're wondering, I always love about the price of petrol, as we say in English, or benzene in other countries. It's very, very quick to go up 
but it's very, very slow to come down. It skyrocketed, as we know, around the world. Then it slowly started to come down. Then apparently there's another war going on back in the Ukraine and the Russians have stopped this and they've stopped that. So it's rocketed again, but it never seems to come down. That's what I love about it. Anyway, at the end of the day, you've got to put it in your tank. So whether it's five euros a litre or 10 euros a litre, just pop it in, fill your tank to the brim, because take it from me, it's not a good thing to drive around on the red light, whether it's an old car or a new car. The viewfinder to me looks lovely. Receiver La Booth is doing a bit of speeding in the outside lane now. I don't think there's any Cumbaros in blue around at this time. We are in the winter season and uh, you know temperature now is about 18 degrees at night. A bit cold for them, a bit chilly. Mm -hmm. So they'll be uh, tucked up with blankets, frappes and sovlaki in the downtown Paphos police station. And we wish them well. We hope they don't get any colds or the dreaded coronavirus. We hope that that's gone away for good now. Coming up here on the left hand side now, these traffic lights, if you look carefully, big white letters saying Super Home Centre, and that's the Home Centre DIY Centre, and then in front of that is the former Debenham Supermarket, which is now called the ERA Supermarket. There's also a children's next shop, but all that is going to be knocked down. All of that is moving up the road to buy McDonald's, and they're going to build a hypermarket and a 27 storey building in downtown Paphos, skyscrapers, and the view from the top floor. Well, you'll be able to see Nickers here, you'll be able to see our man Ronnie over in Israel, and anywhere else you choose to look as well. Over there, Chase Buchanan Private Wealth Management. I've never been to them because I've got no wealth for them to manage. And then there's also the toy box shop underneath, getting ready for Christmas. You've got a private hospital to our left, and then further down here to the right, we are going to come to the is it the Oasis Hospital? Yeah. Yeah. It's a private how'd you say it? Easis. Easis. Easis private hospital. Private. There we are. So that's gonna come up just down here on our right hand side. Now if Miss Maggie's watching, she likes this tree lined avenue all the way down to Paphos. Well Kayla Paphos is this. She's been down here many a time with her friends and family. And it is a very, very nice strip of road indeed. Not because it's leading you to paradise, it actually is a very nice road, a bit rough the surface these days, but the road is tree-lined, although if Leptus has their idea, they're gonna remove all the trees down here to our left-hand side and build villas, shops, schools, hospitals, all sorts of things. It's called Ecopolis when they get around to it. So this traffic light's here. If you were to go right, you would head towards Ronnie Miller's property. That's one of our members of our family and you head into the universal area and if you were to go right you would head back into Yeriskipu for some reason we've got a bit of a tailback going on here obviously someone on a mobile phone that's normally the case so tree lined avenue down to paradise stick with us in another couple of minutes we will be in downtown Kedapaphos and we will stop just short of the Olympic Lagoon Hotel and we will take a right head along the Pasadonis Avenue which is the hotel's road and eventually we will arrive in the downtown Cato Paphos promenade area. So you're gonna get some great views, that's for sure. Good to see you the booth, are you enjoying your drive? Yes, the views now especially are beautiful. I like the evening views. Yes, there is something special about an evening drive. And then as time goes on, normally the mayor, there he is on his motorbike, going down the inside without his crash helmet on, but never mind. You never know, he might fall on his head, might knock some sense into him. Anyway, as I was saying, slowly but surely as Christmas approaches us, often they hang fancy lights from that lamp pole to that lamp pole to that one to that one. I think you understand, as they do in most capital cities. So hopefully, as Christmas approaches, we're gonna get an even more spectacular nighttime drive. I'd get in the inside lane, presumably, yeah, that's right. There we are. So we're gonna go straight at this roundabout, We are now officially in Cato Paphos. So that's the new Paphos, as it's called. So stick with us, and we'll name a few more landmarks along the way. Got a parade of shops to our left-hand side. Not much of any importance to people who are watching in there. And then coming up here, you've got the Veronica Hotel. Mr. Lee Jackson stayed there a couple of months ago. 
and I believe he had a great, great holiday with his wife and his friends. You've got the Greek Grill restaurant there. And you've got various restaurants scattered around. Gift shops, Hellenic Bank, if you want some money over there. You need to pop your card in or pop in with a gun. I normally pop in with a gun. And then just down here, you've got the Romeo Taverna. And then right in front of us, you've got the Olympic Lagoon. That's the hotel where Miss Ellie missed a lot. And that's the hotel that threw us out quite recently. But don't worry, we're going to pop in there again. Because we've got to make an especially for you. For a wonderful lady called Miss Chloe. So we're going to pop in there very, very soon. And see if we can get away with it yet again. So here we are. This is Pass Sidonis Avenue, or as we call it, Hotels Avenue. Watch this gentleman on a push bike, receive your booth. He doesn't seem to have much care for his well-being. No lights, nothing. There we are. We didn't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman here has got a little bit more care for his well-being. He's got a little red light. There we are. Coming up on the left-hand side now is the beach bar known as the Anesthesia Beach Bar, and that's where we go and climb the snake. Then this hotel coming up is the Amabi Luxury Five Star Hotel. Which means that the next one is one of the most popular hotels in the whole of Paphos. And we have many a family member who likes to stay there. Dame Anne Bell. Oh, so, 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 so sweet. Caroline. And of course Fiona. That's just a name but a few. And of course they'll all be coming again next year and booking themselves in. There's Stavros, and they'll be riding life out of him. There's the hotel, and of course there is the main foyer coming up. Have a look at that. There we are. So you've got parades of restaurants coming up now. And a bit of a tree-lined avenue to the left. The Almira Hotel is hiding behind their luxury five-star hotel and resort with its own spa where these cars are joining the carriageway from the right. If you take a right there, you've got a fish and chip shop called T&J's, you've got Keg and Barrel, and you've got the start of Bar Street. And now we've hit the traffic, because of course we are crescendoing along, and very, very soon we will be at the pinnacle, which is downtown Cato Paphos Promenade, I won't have to wiggle and waggle around the back of it before we get to the harbour area because as tradition goes, in the evening they close the promenade to make it that little bit safer for people to walk. This is the five star Annabelle Hotel. Very, very nice hotel indeed. If anyone's going to stay there, you let us know and we'll storm it through the front entrance, the back entrance. We don't mind. We'll parasail down the side walls if we have to. Marios Diamonds is closed. Pamela's Diamonds is open. Mm -hmm. I'll have to have a word with her. That's the Royal Restaurant, which means to the back of that is the Dionysus Hotel. You've got Penguin's Restaurant here on the right, or officially called Penguinos, but we'll call it Penguin's. Gourmet Taverna up in blue over there. Cafe Nera Pizza Hut. The Donna Express coming up. Tea for Two, very, very popular restaurant over there on the right. That's the Promenade, which as you can see, the Gumbarros in blue have kindly parked a car across to stop cars going down there which is a very good thing to do because a lot of people walk around at night and they're not expecting to get run over at 100 miles an hour. Freedom Gallery gift shop over there. So now we're wiggling and waggling to the rear of the Paphos Promenade area. And again, if you're walking around this area, please be careful. As you can see, there's a lot of refurbishment going on. A lot of pavements are in disrepair and it's not that well lit. So please, please bear with us. Hopefully by next season it'll all be rectified and it'll be looking lovely. There's a little sneaky road down there to the promenade. Let's keep going. Coming up here on the left hand side is the Papa Antonio supermarket. Anything you want, you pop in there. Which means just coming up over here on the right hand side is the Leptos Basilica Holiday Resort. We often pop in there for lunch as people are aware if you watch our videos. You've got Theo's Diamond Shop coming up over here. I'll have to have a word with him as well because he's open. <laughs> and now we've hit the roundabout which will take us back up to Paphos, to the Paphos Mall and the Skywalk. But we're going to take a left and we are going to go down towards the actual harbour area. There we go. 
Yeah, plenty of shops, plenty of businesses waiting to take your money. Shoe shops, diamond shops, gift shops, coffee shops. Big car park over to the right hand side. We'll keep going straight, we'll see. Let's park around the back. In fact, let's go into the main car park where it's much better lit. This is the main car park to the right, which is quite well lit. To the rear of the harbour, if that car park's ever full, and if you happen to have stolen someone's car, borrowed someone's car, or hired someone's car, you can go and park round the back. But again, please be careful. Very poorly lit. Don't worry about getting mugged. I'm rarely there. But uh, please, be, please be careful that you don't slip over and fall on your jumper. Keep going straight, Chris. And then wiggle and waggle to the right. Let's go and park up somewhere in there, hopefully. Let's have a look. Why is this tourist parked in the middle of the road, eh? You do have to wonder. There we are. People do some strange things in cars. He's parked in, let's park over there, because it's much easier. For some reason, we've got a tourist just parked in the middle of the road. Let's park in that one there, and do us. Do us very, very nicely, indeed. Let's take two spaces, because why not, eh? There we are. I just did take Perfect. one. No, nope. I always take two. Why not? <laughs> it's time for the big goodbye. Have you enjoyed your drive? <sighs> well, it was very nice. Um, enjoyable uh, evening lightning drive. And I would like to tell you that I want more driving because I like driving when Mr. Paul is not shouting. Obviously, I'm behaving well. And I would like to tell you that we're loving you to bits. And don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. Bye-bye. I think I'll start shouting at her because I'm looking forward to being hung by her own bra, <laughs> Mr. Simon. <laughs> no. Thanks for watching. No. Do you like what you see? Hit yeah. the like. And subscribe. And come back for a little bit more of our madness. Madness. Why We're not? Eh? You again. And if you really, really like what you see, you could click through to our about page. Yeah. And buy her a coffee, me a coffee, buy yourself a coffee, and we'll all sit down and have a good chat together. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.